Now it's time for Aussie Mozzie's number one dating show, Love Bites. Welcome back to the show that puts your relationships under the microscope. Tonight, what's been bugging Melissa, a 28-day-old mosquito who met her human partner, Jeff, at a barbecue. <laughs> Melissa, what first attracted you to Jeff? Oh, the usual things, his carbon dioxide exhalations, his warm body, but it was the odours created by bacteria living on his skin that really drove me crazy. We've all been there. Am I right, ladies? But, Melissa, now you feel you're losing that buzz. Yeah. And this isn't the first time you've been unlucky in love, is it? My last man was great, but then he started using DEET. <laughs> oh, every mosquito knows that DEET's a deal breaker. It's the most reliable and effective repellent on the market. Humans have been using it to get rid of mozzies for 50 years. Well, it sure got rid of me. Your new man, Jeff, isn't using DEET, is he? No, he would never do that to me. He's more of a sensitive new age guy. Ooh, now we're sizzling. Let's have a look at some of these new age repellents Jeff's been using. Well, um, this is his bracelet and he wears patches too. Well, for some scientific advice, let's bring out our insect expert, Dr Cameron Webb, author of The Guide to Australian Mosquitoes. Uh, Dr Webb, is this good news or bad news for Melissa's relationship? Melissa, any human that wears these wristbands or patches is great news for a mosquito. They say they repel annoying stingers, but studies have shown that even those that contain DEET only work for about 18 seconds. Even then, only over a very localised area. So the wristband only protects his wrist? Still plenty to love. <laughs> what else do you have? Well, he also wears this ultrasound repellent necklace. Ooh, yeah. And there are smartphone apps that make the same claims. They're supposed to mimic the whine of a male mosquito. God knows we get enough of that at home, right, ladies? But again, they're completely ineffective. Are you talking about the ultrasonic repellent or my husband? <laughs> but seriously, didn't one study call these ultrasound repellents the modern equivalent of snake oil? Yep, and one study found they actually made mosquitoes bite you more. Oh, sounds like you should be encouraging your man to wear them. <laughs> I know that the bracelet, the patches and the ultrasonic doodad don't work. The only wearable you mozzies need to worry about is clothing. Bring out our model! <laughs> Melissa, are you attracted to this guy? Uh, not really. Long sleeve, loose fitting clothing helps block mosquito bites. Yeah, if Jeff dressed like this, we'd have problems. Well, what about this guy? Mosquitoes can actually bite through tight fitting clothing. Melissa! It also helps to treat your clothing with an insecticide like permethrin. It actually kills mosquitoes. <laughs> that effect will be lost when you wash the clothes or iron them, and you really should still use insect repellent on any exposed areas of skin. Well, Melissa, now it's time to see what your man is putting on his skin. Oh, OK. So we're breaking into his house. Your what? Lucy, are you there? It's locked. Lucky we've got this key. Just as we thought, we got a lot of natural products here. We got citronella oil, lavender, lemon myrtle and peppermint, melaleuca oil, coriander, lemongrass and basil oil. Is that the medicine cabinet or the spice rack? Those botanical products don't work as well or for as long as the synthetic repellents. And remember, it only takes one mosquito bite to spread disease. Um, excuse me? And by the way, if you find a product that doesn't call itself an insect repellent, that probably means it's so ineffective it's not allowed to. Huh, Jeff might think these natural products are safer to use, but that isn't always the case. And rubbing essential oil straight onto your skin can cause irritation. So, we're moving into Jeff's bedroom now. Wow. That's a lot of candles. Ooh. Oh, he's so romantic. Mm. He's the best. Oh, not so fast. What type of candles are they? 
Citronella. Oh, no. Those are a really popular repellent. Hang on. Just because something's popular doesn't mean that it's good. That's like saying this guide to birds of Australia is better than this guide to mosquitoes of Australia by Cameron Webb. <laughs> good point. Birds are stupid. When it comes to citronella candles, one study has shown that it reduces mosquito bites by about 40%. So I can still bite him 60% of the time. But what about those mosquito coils? Mosquito coils that contain citronella have limited effectiveness, but those with insecticides do work. But be careful, don't burn them inside the house because they release as much smoke as about 100 cigarettes. I've been smoking a 20 packet coils a day all my life. Look at me, 32 days young. <laughs> Electronic vaporisers that release insecticides work indoors and in sheltered outdoor areas. So you really should look out for them. Are you crazy? Put that away! Welcome back. Before the break, we showed that wristbands, patches, ultrasound repellents, candles and essential oils are all ineffective mosquito repellents. So there's no chance they'll come between Melissa and her man, Jeff. But now their relationship faces its biggest test of all. We've sent Melissa along to a family barbecue and thanks to a fly on the wall camera, now it's time to meet the parents. So like with the company that I work, you know, we're trying to move all our clients across um, different sort of platforms. Just I Can you hear that? Hear what? <laughs> anyway, so um, I really like your house. It's like so cute. House, um, like I'll get some spray. Uh oh, is there any way we can tell exactly what they're using? We need to check the active ingredients that are on the label. Great. Todd, can we get a closer shot of that product? Looks like picaridin. Someone's been stung before. It's just as effective as deep, but it's odorless. Uh, Jeff's brother's using PMD, or oil of lemon eucalyptus. Another repellent as effective as DEET, and it's recommended by health authorities around the world, including the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention in the US. Don't confuse it with essential oil of lemon eucalyptus. It's different and less effective. Hmm. Now, Melissa can't stand to be around Jeff's mum. Is that her choice of repellent or just a classic case of the judgy mother-in-law? Maybe a bit of both. She's using an 80% DEET formulation. Ah, now, Jeff's sister's using one with 20% DEET. 20% DEET or 10% DEET, it's still effective. The higher the concentration of DEET, the less often you need to reapply it. Jeff, love, there's mozzies about. Put on some DEET. Nah, Mum, I heard this is not safe. Oh, that's my Jeff. I've been using it for years and I'm fine. She's right. DEET has been repeatedly tested and shown to be safe to use if it's applied correctly. Here. Use the 10% if you're that worried about it. I feel like this multi just won't leave me alone. <laughs> no, Jeff, don't do it! <laughs> Damn, missed it. <laughs> he was leading me on the whole time. I wish I never met him. Well, you never would have if Jeff had cleared his house of mosquito breeding sites like stagnant water. No! My love shack! And you would never have been attracted to him if you wore loose-fitting long sleeve shirt and wore an effective insect repellent. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr Cameron Webb. And that's why they call him the King of the Mosquitoes! Cameron! 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 What are you thinking about? A reality TV show about mosquitoes dating humans that discusses the effectiveness of different types of repellents. What? Oh, sorry, nothing. <laughs> 